1993, the most iconic game appeared, like which nothing even came close. The incredible level of graphics for those times, the fast game dynamics and the multiplayer mode of Doom Forever changed the development of games, and since that time the popularity of the first-person shooter genre began to gain tremendous momentum. This game was born due to two Johns, first of all thanks to John Carmack as a brilliant inventor and programmer, and secondly to John Romer as not only a programmer but also a talented artist. In fact, it is believed that 14 people were involved in the work of Doom, and all of them were part of the staff of id Software, which by that time was already famous for its previous games. These were the Commander Keen series of games, it was a Mario-style platform game, and Wolfenstein 3D released in 1992, this game also became a well-known first-person shooter, the engine of which used ray casting techniques along with the DDA algorithm. So going back to the history of Doom, the guys at id Software took the name of the game from a moment in Martin Scorsese's The Color of Money in 1986. What you got in there? In here? Doom. So this video is an introduction to a series of episodes on recreating the Doom engine using the original game file. That is, using the Python language, we will receive all the data, resources and assets that are in the WAD file. And then gradually understanding how Doom works, and using the Pygame library, we will be able to render any level of the game. At the moment, this is not the final version of the engine, and further advancements are planned over time. I will use software rendering in the same approach as in the days of the creation of Doom, when there were no graphics cards with 3D acceleration in the usual sense. And to create this project, I was inspired by the books game engine Black Book by Fabian Sangler, and Masters of Doom by David Kushner. And of course I tried to study the Doom C source code published in 1997, but for me it was not easy because Doom contains about 38,000 lines of code. So special thanks to Amro Ibrahim, who did a great job researching the Doom source code, and thanks to his DIY Doom in C++, I started this project, but I went my own way and went a little further in the implementation of texturing. So the intro is coming to an end, and see you in the next episode.